AK, I was wrong. I was totally wrong. <laughs> Last episode review, I thought you were a complete idiot for not taking an opportunity to take out Lockie. At the time, I thought you did not have the numbers. You proved that that is obviously not the case because I wasn't aware that you had Ziggy on the hook and I did not expect Peter to flip as easily as he did. I mean, because we haven't really seen much of Peter in the show, but obviously you know more about what's going on than we do watching the show. So well done, AK. Uh, well played. I'm still a little confused why you didn't take the opportunity to get rid of Lockie last week. Unless you wanted Tarzan to go out. Maybe he was a threat you wanted to eliminate as well. But we'll circle back to that towards the end of this episode because it plays into what happens there. For now, the cookie monster is now bankrupt. All the cookies in the cookie bank are gone. Wow, that was fast. How quickly did those guys plow through that cookie jar? Like, seriously, Jericho, you didn't want to you didn't want to ration it out like at all. I mean, <laughs> it lasted you like two days for crying out loud, man. Holy cow. And I mean, if he was going to use the cookies to form connections with different people in the group, he did that with Sarah. He did that with Henry, which are two people that he's going to need to get on side when the time comes they want to vote out, when they want to break out the Sam Henry power couple thing. But I mean, the rest of the cookies he just wasted on Luke, who he's already totally good friends with. I mean, it's that's just a waste of cookies to me. You're not getting any game advantage in return, so you're just throwing them down the bottomless pit of Luke's Luke's mouth, and for what? I mean, it's a waste of time, really. Should have just saved them for yourself. But we'll have to wait and see whether the connections the cookie jar formed with Sarah and Malcolm uh, do pay off later on or not. But when the Blue Tribe went to the challenge and it came down to two couples holding up with the 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 torch thingies and Malcolm and Mark were on the one side I was like well Malcolm tried to throw a challenge just last episode and he couldn't do it here he's got a great opportunity to drop it it's just him and Mark he can just pretend like his arm gave out and he could drop it and there you go they're off to tribal but he didn't he didn't why did he think it was too obvious because everyone was watching them how do they know what's happening to the muscles inside his arm he could just pretend his arm gives out maybe things changed the dynamics around the tribe and he wasn't comfortable going to tribal just then who knows who knows i would like to see him drop that torch though because i'm waiting for this powder keg <laughs> of the blue tribe and all this insanity to finally explode and to to see what happens it's going to be glorious when it finally does happen but they didn't end up going to tribal pink tribe once again goes to tribal and tara in describing ak said that he knows this game's so well he seems to always be five steps ahead of everyone else and boy did we see that in this episode because Tara and Lockie they're like you know what maybe we should plan to blindside AK you know he'll never see it coming and it's like yeah he has seen it coming he saw it coming ages ago in fact he saw it coming so far ago that he's already got his plan in motion <laughs> he's already set up and locked in his plan to blindside you guys although he did have to switch uh the the bullseye the target from Lockie over onto Amy because Peter preferred her and because they had to get Peter's vote you know they they just got to go with Amy if that's what Peter wants to do otherwise there's no blindside at all but uh, I was very impressed that Peter switched sides like that and how quickly he switched sides I did not think I honestly didn't think AK could get it done because I was like I didn't know he had Ziggy but even then I was like okay Ziggy and Jared that's still not enough numbers I was like you can't get Tara there's no way Tara is gonna work with Tess Amy is totally in Lockie's back pocket and Peter I didn't know anything about so I was like I don't think he can get it done but obviously I was wrong and he got it done well done AK well done the only thing that would have been sweeter than that look of shock on Tara's face, after all of that smirking that all of her side of things did, <laughs> because at the tribal they were not very good at all with hiding that blindside. It was so obvious they were gonna blindside AK just with the things they were saying and they're all like <laughs> and smiling really openly to each other. I mean, like just by, based off who's smiling and who's not, you could see they were gonna vote someone else. But I think AK did a good job of playing the, the ignorant fool of like, no, it's a simple vote. There's eight of us and only one person left. And I, I believe I've regained some trust. And, you know, it's all nonsense, of course. But he did a good good job of playing that. And I think Tess also did a good job of like, well, my head's on the chopping block, but I guess there's nothing I can do. So well done all around for everyone on sort of AK's side. Well done. But as <laughs> I gotta say, one of my favorite, like, most coded moments in this episode is where Lockie and AK are talking and AK says to Lockie you know don't worry no one on our side is talking like oh, oh let's blindside Lockie or anything like that and Lockie turns around and said yeah well you know everyone on our side is saying you know we totally trust AK <laughs> it's like a total 
it's the exact opposite of what's actually happening and they both say it to each other that's it's just so great like that's the kind of coded stuff you could only get in the show of survivor that's why i love this show so much it's just great it's really great but i'd say um ak in the rankings has really gone up now he's really earned a reputation for himself i just hope he hasn't shown his cards too early in the game because there's still a long way to go in the game and how many more tricks does he have up his sleeve i don't know I guess we'll have to wait and see. So put your thoughts about the episode in the comment section below. I am Bandit, this is Bandit Strategy, and I'll see you guys later.